The golden age of Hollywood was filled with talented and gorgeous actresses who lit up the silver screen. But there were some actresses whose personal life had scandal and tumult, and the rumor mill ran perpetually. Join Facts First as we present old Hollywood actresses who had a nasty reputation. Lupe Velez Lupe Velez was a Mexican-born actress who rose to fame in Hollywood during the 20s and 30s. Born in 1908, Lupe had a tumultuous childhood growing up in poverty in Mexico before moving to the U.S. to pursue a career in acting. Despite her difficult upbringing, Velez quickly made a name for herself in Hollywood, appearing in a number of successful films throughout the 1920s and 30s. Known for her fiery personality and sultry on-screen presence, Velez became a popular figure among audiences and a sought-after leading lady. But her personal life was just as tumultuous as her childhood. She had a series of up-and-down relationships with men in Hollywood, including several high-profile romances with fellow actors. She also struggled with addiction and mental health issues, which contributed to her reputation as a controversial figure. In the late 1930s, Velez became embroiled in a scandal when she became pregnant by a married man. Despite attempts to keep the pregnancy a secret, the news eventually leaked to the press, causing a media frenzy and damaging her reputation. The scandal also led to a breakdown in her relationship with the man, and Velez ultimately ended her own life by taking an overdose of sleeping pills in 1944. Her tragic death at age 36 shocked her fans and colleagues in Hollywood, and it added to her status as a controversial figure. Elizabeth Taylor Elizabeth Taylor was one of the most iconic actresses of the 20th century, known for her beauty, talent, and larger-than-life personality. Born in London in 1932, Taylor began her acting career at a young age and quickly became one of Hollywood's biggest stars. Her early success came with films like National Velvet and A Place in the Sun, but it was her performance in Cleopatra that cemented her status as a legend. The film, released in 1963, was the most expensive movie ever made at the time and featured Taylor in the title role. Taylor was not only known for her talent on the big screen, but also her personal life which was often the subject of media scrutiny. She was married eight times to seven different men, including some of Hollywood's biggest names, like Richard Burton and Eddie Fisher. Her highly publicized relationships and marriages made her a controversial figure in the eyes of some, and she was often criticized for her perceived extravagance and indulgence. In addition to romantic entanglements, she was also an outspoken activist for several causes, including AIDS awareness and research. She raised millions of dollars for AIDS charities through her Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation, which continues to support people affected by the disease. In 2011, she passed away at age 79. Francis Farmer Born in Seattle in 1913, Francis Farmer was raised in a strict, conservative household and rebelled against her upbringing by pursuing a career in acting. Her early success came with films like Come and Get It, and The Toast of New York, which earned her critical acclaim and established her as a rising star in Hollywood. But her career was cut short by a series of personal struggles and controversies that would define her legacy. Throughout her life, Farmer struggled with mental health issues, including bipolar disorder and depression. Her behavior became increasingly erratic, and she was often in conflict with studio executives and others in the industry. She also had a tumultuous personal life, including a failed marriage and a relationship with playwright Clifford Odets. In 1943, Farmer was arrested for drunk driving and disorderly conduct, and she was later diagnosed with schizophrenia. She was committed to a series of psychiatric institutions where she underwent a number of controversial treatments, including electroconvulsive therapy. Farmer's treatment and subsequent release from psychiatric care became a cause celeb, and she became a symbol of the abuse of power within the mental health system. She later wrote a memoir about her experiences titled Will There Really Be a Morning, which was adapted into a film in 1983. Her life and career have been the subject of numerous books, films, and plays, including the biopic Francis starring Jessica Lange. Marion Davies Marion Davies rose to fame during the silent film era of the 1920s. Born in Brooklyn in 1897, Davies began her career as a chorus girl on Broadway before making the transition to Hollywood. She quickly became one of the biggest stars of the 20s, known for her beauty, 
charm, and comedic timing. She appeared in numerous films, including Little Old New York, The Patsy, and Show People, and was one of the highest-paid actresses of her time. Despite her success on screen, Davies was often the subject of controversy in her personal life. She was the mistress of newspaper publisher William Randolph Hearst, who was married at the time. Hearst was a powerful figure in the media and used his influence to promote Davies' career, which led to accusations of favoritism and nepotism. Davies was also known for her lavish parties and extravagant lifestyle, which were funded in part by Hearst's vast fortune. The couple's relationship was often the subject of gossip and speculation, and it was rumored Hearst had a hand in controlling Davies' career and personal life. But Davies remained a popular and respected figure in Hollywood throughout her career. She was known for kindness and generosity and was a prominent philanthropist, donating millions of dollars to charity over the years. She retired from acting in the 30s and dedicated much of her time to charitable causes. She passed away in 1961 at age 64. Clara Bow Clara Bow was an actress and sex symbol who rose to fame during the silent film era of the 20s. Born in Brooklyn in 1905, Bo's childhood was marked by poverty and neglect. She began her career as an actress in small roles before catching the attention of Hollywood producers with her natural talent and undeniable charisma. Bo quickly became one of Hollywood's biggest stars, known for her sultry looks, signature bob haircut, and fiery personality. She appeared in numerous films, including Wings, which won the first Academy Award for Best Picture, and It, which cemented her status as a sex symbol and earned her the nickname The It Girl. Despite her success on screen, she was a controversial figure in her personal life. She was involved in a number of scandalous relationships, including a highly publicized affair with actor Gary Cooper. She was also known for her outspoken nature and was often criticized by the media for her working-class background and frank discussions of her own sexuality. In 1931, her career came to an abrupt halt when she was accused of engaging in sexual relationships with a number of actors and crew members on the set of the film Call Her Savage. The scandal, which became known as the Bo Boom Affair, tarnished Bo's reputation and led to her retirement from acting at age 28. Jean Tierney Born in Brooklyn in 1920, Jean Tierney's striking beauty and natural acting talent quickly caught the attention of Hollywood producers. She appeared in numerous films, including Laura, Leave Her to Heaven, and The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, and was known for her dramatic range and ability to convey complex emotions on screen. In the late 40s, she suffered a nervous breakdown and was hospitalized for several months. It was later revealed it was caused by the birth of her daughter, who'd been born with severe developmental disabilities. Tierney was devastated by the diagnosis and blamed herself. Her personal life was also marked by a tumultuous marriage to fashion designer Oleg Cassini. The couple married in 1941 and had two daughters together, but their marriage was marred by infidelity and Cassini's controlling behavior. In 1951, Tierney's life took another dramatic turn when she was sued for divorce by Cassini and accused of having an affair with actor Tyrone Power. The scandal caused a media frenzy and led to Tierney being blacklisted by Hollywood producers for a time. But she continued to act in films and on stage, and was known for her grace, elegance, and resilience in the face of adversity. Tierney passed away in 1991 at age 70. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite of all these actresses? Let us know in the comments section below.